Hey friend, it's Jeff Watson. It's Thursday morning. It's still kind of early for a lot of us, but I'm up in the office, been working already. And I want to take a couple minutes and put it out on video via Facebook Live and maybe elsewhere. Some of the stuff that I've been writing and working on this week. This is Thursday and for the last seven days, pretty much every waking hour of my life has been consumed with a couple of key thoughts. How to stop certain provisions that are in this massive $3.5 trillion budget reconciliation bill currently being pushed through Congress. And yeah, it's hit a couple of roadblocks, but I'm not convinced that these roadblocks are gonna hold. So I'm gonna talk to you about what really is going on as it relates to IRAs, particularly self-directed IRAs. So this, this live is going to take maybe eight, 10 minutes. So just hang with me. I'm going to talk about four things. And I want you to just take a minute and write this down. Write down these digits. 138312 and then 138314. Those are the two sections that are the worst, in my opinion, when it relates to IRAs in this budget reconciliation bill. But let me tell you about the four bad things as it relates to IRAs. And folks, I'm talking about all IRAs, traditional, Roth, self-directed, non-self-directed, whatever. Okay, so let's get to this. The first thing is because one man got away with it during an IRS audit because the IRS didn't know what he was doing, but because Peter could turn a couple thousand dollars into a few billion dollars because of several insider deals, they now want to slam the lid on all IRAs, capping them at $10 million. I don't like that at all, but I'm going to tell you right now, that is the least harmful of the four things I'm talking about. Yeah, can you imagine that? That's the least harmful of them. The IRS didn't know what they were doing when they audited Peter Thiel's Roth IRA way back when he and the other four guys founded, founded PayPal, got away with a deal that today there's no way you could get away with it. I think the IRS has figured out how to read 26 USC 4975, small e, number two, capital E, and apply it. So anyhow, I don't want to get too nerdy. The second of the four things that's there is they are stopping all conversions. No more traditional to Roth conversions. Slam that door shut. Now, I don't know why they're doing that. Because the tax revenue that's been pouring in for the last decade as more and more individuals realize that traditional IRAs are, to quote Ed Slot, tax infested and getting them to Roth IRAs I don't know why, the Treasury's making buku bucks doing this, so I'm not sure what's happening. But I think the game is that they want more money later than money now, which I'm not sure how that really works because they've got to raise taxes in order to get this budget reconciliation bill through. And I'm not going to get into the political mechanics of why it's a reconciliation, but let's just get it to this. They don't have the votes to get anything through the Senate except on a squeaky 50-50 thing, okay? So here's what we've got to look at. We've got to look at, they want to cap IRAs at 10 million. I'm not a fan of that. They want to stop all conversions. That makes no tax sense whatsoever. But now it gets ugly. It gets really ugly. They want to prevent all IRAs, both traditional and Roth going forward, from investing in anything that requires the IRA or its account holder to be an accredited investor. These are referred to as 506 funds. And these are commonly put together on larger apartment deals and other big investment projects. Now, to stop IRAs from going into 506 is one thing that's a bad idea, but then they double down on bad by saying, Okay, in addition to that, if you're already in a 506 fund, you've got to pull that money out in the next two years by December of 2023. Now, I don't know if anybody's figured out, but liquidity is the lifeblood of investing. And all of a sudden, when you've got to buy out or liquidate or redeem a bunch of people who are required by law to get their money out of your fund... 
Can you imagine the crisis that that's going to cause in 12, 16, 18, 20 months from now? What a mess. Some of these operators, some of these fund operators are going to have to be liquidating assets to generate the internal money in order to pay these people out. It is going to be a bad, bad, bad deal. But wait, it gets worse. Yeah, it gets worse. Let me get to the fourth item in this, okay? The fourth item that they're proposing to do in this budget reconciliation bill is that they are going to say that an IRA, its account holder, and anybody that's a disqualified person connected to them can only own up to 10% in any sort of investment. That means if you want to put into a checkbook control, you can't do that anymore. Prohibited, stopped, can't do it. No more IRA-owned trusts, no more IRA-owned LLCs, no more IRA-owned entities of any kind, shape, or form. That is going to cripple the way people get deals funded. That is going to put a huge burden on every account holder who already has their money in that. That's gonna put a massive burden on every custodian and administrator out there. And folks, we're not talking about just a few million dollars here. We're talking about billions and billions of dollars that are being done this way. And this is going to cause all sorts of problems. So this is not good. Now, you're gonna say, well, Jeff, what do we do about it? There's some three things that you can do about this. There are three simple bam, bam, bam things that you can do about it. The first is there's going to be a link I'm going to post as soon as this video is over where you can click on the link and immediately contact your member of Congress and have a pre-written script already auto-filled. You get to pick between two of them. That's This is done by National RIA's Voter Voice, and you can contact your member of Congress. That is important. The next thing that I'm going to post under here is a link to my buddy John Heyer's website on this, handsoffmyira.com. I've given John some information. John has really done a lot of work on this. John and I talk all the time. We've messaged even, I think, this morning about this stuff. So John's got a list of the important eight members of Congress that need to be contacted. Some of the people on that list are reasonable. I've worked with at least two of them. I've given money to at least two of them, and they're Democrats. So these are people that need to be contacted and be told that, listen, Section 138, 132, and Section 138, 314, I'm sorry, 138, 312, and 138, 314 need to come out of this reconciliation bill. They got to come out. They don't raise a bunch of revenue. This is not it. This is simply trying to lock down and steal your IRA money from you. So you got to contact the important eight. So the first thing you do is you use the voter voice link so you can do it from the comfort of your own home and contact your member of Congress. Then the next thing is from the comfort of your own home, your office, wherever you are, take the same device, click on the link to handsoffmyira.com, see what's going on there, find the important eight, begin to contact them. There's scripts, there's letters, there's samples there that you can use. There's more explanation of what's going on. And then... The next thing, and this is the third most important thing that you can do out of the three big boom, boom, boom action steps here, okay? Bam, you can do this, is share this information with four of your friends. If you know someone who needs money for a real estate deal, if you know someone who is funding deals, if you know someone who is flipping deals, if you know someone who is wholesaling houses, if you know someone who's rehabbing apartments, if you know someone who's putting together deals, if you know someone who needs any kind of money when it comes to real estate, they need to know about this. They need to know about what's going on in this budget reconciliation bill and how money is going to be pulled out of the economy by if this thing happens. And IRAs are gonna be pushed off to the sideline, folks, I think this is a Wall Street grab to get money away from Main Street and over to Wall Street, okay? I like to put my money on Main Street. I like to be able to choose where my money goes. I got money on Wall Street. I want money on Main Street as well. I got it in both places, all right? And what really has me ticked off 
is once I read this, I had to put a screeching halt on a deal I'm doing for my brand new five week old granddaughter. She's five weeks old today and I got to put a screeching halt on a deal I was going to do a really sweet deal I was going to do with her CISA account, my kids inherited Roths and so on. I got to put a halt on it. And we're talking about a small deal, but I got to put a halt on it because I can't do it because if these laws come into place, then I'd have to undo the whole deal. So this is really frustrating. It's, it's stopping people from building their retirement accounts. It's stopping people from being able to take care of themselves in their golden age. It's stopping people from being able to provide the liquidity that small businesses, mom and pops, landlords, rehabbers, small developers need. It is literally going to force people back to the institutional system. And that is not good because IRA and private lenders can say yes when banks say no. So we've got to do something to stop this. I've given you four things that are wrong with this budget reconciliation bill. I've told you three things to do to stop it. I'm going to put the links underneath this video once we're done and it's up on Facebook. And the other thing I got to do is I got to tell everybody, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. But more importantly, thank you for taking action. Thank you for taking action. I know it's early in the morning. Hopefully my face doesn't bother you when you wake up and you start looking at Facebook and seeing this, but thank you for the likes. Thank you for everybody that shares this thing and folks, it's great. And I got to reach out and I got to say, Hey, to Tom, to Chris and to Jason, man, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for your support and let's get this thing taken care of. So folks, I'm going to get you the links. Let's get after this. Let's protect your retirement. Let's protect my retirement and let's move forward on this thing. So until the next video from me, keep looking. I've got links coming out. I've got more content coming out. This is an ever moving thick situation. And folks, we have to do things today, Monday, unless we cause enough of a ruckus. So take action. Peace. God bless. Talk to you soon.